So what we have here is our, our profit tap aggregator tap, which we also call our booster, and an iota sensor. Now, you can attach to this aggregator with a serial port, and you can do some CLI configurations. Just a little bit I have up here. I've got a set tag minus N1, which tells the aggregator to set a VLAN PID for each port starting with one. So one, two, three, four, we get four ports. And here I got the tag here to check it, comes back and says the ID is one. So that means it's all set. So um, I ran traffic through it. You can see LAN one set up as a tap going to the router, tap through those two ports. You see wireless network tap through these two ports coming to the router and aggregated out and sent to the IOTA sensor so it can capture and monitor all this traffic. And when I pull some of that traffic out into Wireshark, just to double check it, I can see here's my VID1, VID3, VID4, VID2 right here. So I have a way of identifying every packet as it goes through the aggregator from my different networks in and out of the router to see, is traffic flowing like I think it should be flowing? Are the packets traversing the network? And am I getting responses from the places I expect to get responses from? It's kind of a handy feature of the IOTA. And in the IOTA, there's controls you can use to, to uh, filter on these values as well. And I'm going to show you that also. Just the regular home dashboard. Looking at traffic in the last three hours here. I'm going to change that to refresh every 10 seconds. And over here under filters, I want to look for those VLAN IDs that we set. Um, source VLAN, here we go. And, and here's our four available ports, uh, or excuse me, four available VLAN IDs. And each of these equates to a port that's on the aggregator tap. It's running right now. There, I just told it, I just want to see the traffic coming in and out of um, port one. And now I can tell it to combine ports also, ports VLAN two. That way I'm getting, you know, two sides of the traffic here. Looking at the document again, if I look at um, source VLAN one or source VLAN two that I have up here, you can see here's ID two, here's ID one, and that's giving me both sides of this tap traffic here. Equally, I could look at three and four to get this traffic going through this side of the network. So in order to correlate the, the VLANs I've set up in the aggregator and I'm now tracking in the IOTA, I've taken the default bandwidth dashboard that comes with the IOTA and modified it and made a new one called Bandwidth Plus. And I've added this graph here. It's showing my VLANs and I'm using a um, nonlinear logarithmic um, display here to show my different VLANs and the bandwidth each VLAN is taking. And then down here, I've added client and server um, top users, and I've added the VLAN ID here so I can see by IP address what IP address, how much bandwidth is going you know, through those ports. And um, I just thought that's a cool feature to add on the IOTA. It's so easy to, on the IOTA, and it's so easy to do. Now, using the same concept, the IOTA could be a packet broker in this scenario, and you could aggregate a bunch of ports to your packet broker and save quite a bit of money on packet broker ports here, doing the same kind of configuration.